Prosecutors say Yu Peng Deng called himself the supreme commander. He preyed upon the aspirations of a very, a very specific targeted group with limited English-speaking abilities, with, with limited knowledge of U.S. government affairs, U.S. military affairs. They say he assembled a group of Chinese immigrants at this now abandoned office in Temple City, California. He charged them money for dues, fabricated IDs, and uniforms. He told them that they were part of an elite armed forces unit, that they were called the U.S. Army Military Special Forces Reserve Unit. But it was all a scam. Investigators say the 51-year-old even outfitted an office with what looked like Defense Department logos. They were promised that their association with this uh, fictitious group would lead to collateral benefits such as uh, extra points when they applied for permanent residency or legitimacy uh, in terms of their immigration status in the United States. In effect, authorities say Deng promised an easier path to American citizenship, but it was all a mirage. They were led to believe that you know, they could even get perhaps some freebies or a free passes if they were stopped by uh, law enforcement, local law enforcement for such things as traffic infractions and, and things of that sort. Deng faces 13 felonies for defrauding dozens of people. He waived arraignment until May. His lawyer is arguing for lower bail. The judge is going to review that order uh, wherein the bail was set at $500,000. I think the bail is outrageous for these types of charges. Good luck, Mr. Deng. We'll see you. For now, Deng is being held in $500,000 bond. John Moan, Associated Press, Pomona, California.